Last time. It might be tangenting again. We're a dragon now. I begin to expect a lot less of Aetherius now. Aye aye captain, aye aye captain, aye aye captain. The AI has gone full pirate mode and plundered the plot from our story. So I had to course correct. A lot. Guys, calm down. Get some more sweet armor too. I don't have a shirt. We have gotten this far into the story only for the AI to drop the bombshell that I've not been wearing a shirt this entire time. I am armorless. This must now be my sole focus. I must acquire a shirt. Not too hard for a pirate, right? Luca is a street urchin, right? A thief. A shady character. A young lad with nothing to lose and lives on the streets. What if I, li what if I leave him live on my ship? Long lost son! <laughs> It's canon. One spicy night of romance led to my character having a mod as a son. A son we just left live on the street for a few years until we needed a cabin boy. I believe in active parenting and exploiting said son to help clean the ship and teach the crew to steal better. It's a give and take relationship. And from here our story continues. I'm Dying Legacy and this is the finale to AI Ruin My Final Fantasy XIV character's backstory. Alright, let's go after that ship. Aye aye. Rathian, the man with the auburn hair and the eye patch, and his son. We might as well meet a primal along the way. So I tried to force the AI into creating a scenario where we tried to plunder a treasure ship. But to make it more interesting, this treasure ship was being pulled by Leviathan. The sea primal had to make this as Final Fantasy as possible. That's our target. Let's take him out. Aye aye, Captain, take out their cannons. Aye aye, the crew with Luca and Rathian attack the ship and the battle begins. It's a tough fight, but we could do it. Aye aye, pound the cannons. Aye aye, Captain. Jesus Christ, what's with all the contexture? Keep them busy. Aye aye. Come on, crew, we got this. Just keep the cannons firing and those swords swinging. We're winning. We got them. Take their cannons out. Good work, crew. Now let's get the loot. That was underwhelming, but maybe the AI had plans. Let's just, let's just ask a question here, because this is a bit strange. Leviathan was sure easy to beat. We did it. Rathian, the man with the auburn hair and the eye patch and his crew have defeated the Leviathan crew. What's next? We need to find a bigger ship and a bigger crew. And that means more cannons and more swords and more treasure. Okay, let's sell these weapons and buy a bigger ship. With more weapons and more cannons. Also get me a sweet shirt and some pants. I can't turn around with my ass out. I can't run around with my ass out. I'm a man of class or I'm trying to be. Okay, so, so far during my adventure, I've had no shirt and no pants and this was not brought to my attention sooner. So Leviathan's just dead. But for some reason, the AI is committed to stripping me bollock naked through this journey. It has not offered to take me to dinner or even ask me out for a coffee. It has just decided to pen its own fantasy novel about my dick swinging in the ocean breeze. We need to course correct. Right the fuck now. It's also a great way to hire another mod to join our crew. Okay, can we do something with this please? This is derailing itself so often. Let's find a place to sell these and then we can buy a bigger ship. All right, crew, let's make haste. The quicker we can sell these and get ourselves a bigger ship, the better chance we have at plundering some treasure. Raffian, the man with the auburn hair and the eye patch and his crew have found a port and have sold their loot. The AI has ignored my plea to hire our mod, so we are reaching out to our arms dealer from Limsa who is also a mod. So let's wrangle two mods with one sociopathic AI and against my better judgment, let him orchestrate how he'd be helpful in this situation. Anything else? Have you got anything else to add to your own moniker in this? You have now become canon to my character's backstory. Rathian, the captain of the unnamed large pirate ship, is in need of pants and a shirt. But Tazgo on the link for a Rathian quickly asks for advice on finding Trollax. An experienced jack of all trades would be very handy for our journey. Taz, tell me where to find Trollax. Also, I may need a lot more weapons. Care to join? I'll give you an unlimited supply of rum for your services. Taz responds, every time you need something, I emerge out of the shadows, the abyss, the nothing, just to make some more money. Not for the money itself, but for the art of selling. A creature of the void, a salesman of hopes and dreams, as well as dread and failure. Also, if you buy this weapon, you get this orc hide with it. I've heard of a Trollax, but I've never met him myself. He might be able to help you. Thank you, see it. Hold on, it's it's childhood friend. What are you talking about? Why have you just gone, nah? Trollax, the legendary merchant and purveyor of goods. I remember him. And the time he got caught by a sea monster. He's the perfect person to help us out. We can find him. Trollax, the legendary merchant of and purveyor of goods. I know, I was just joking. <laughs> you fucking, 
What? What? He's known throughout the land as a man who can get anything. Oh, that sounds great. I'm going to need some gear and some armor. I've been thinking about upgrading our ship as well and getting more cannons. There was an adventurer in need of some fine armor and a mighty sword and Trollax was the one to help. Why has he become a merchant? Oh, that sounds good, but first I'll have to find him. Yes, but it wasn't the sword or armor that Trollax helped him with. What? did he do to help him? When the adventurer said, I want a mighty sword and fine armor, Trollax said, you shall have it. But first, let's talk. Trollax gave the adventurer a fine set of armor and a mighty sword, and the adventurer said, I want to be able to use this mighty sword. Trollax said, if that's what you want, then you shall have it. But first, let's talk. So did he teach him how to use the sword? Of course for a small fee. Well, we could do it as services, but we'll have to find him. Trollax has made his fortune and name through his trade. Oh, <laughs> we just... He knows where everything can be found. Then where do we start looking? Trollax can be found by going through the marketplace. What marketplace? And you never gave a question if, it, if Taz was joining the crew or not. The main marketplace is in Ulda. Okay, let's start there. Ulda's market is the main trade hub for adventurers. Indeed, and the people there will not hesitate to point you in the direction of Trollax. Thank you, Taz. I'm heading to Alda. The AI has created its own legend of our Jack of All Trades merchant mod. Wasn't looking for a merchant, but I am willing to let the AI cook. But it did cockblock me out of hiring our arms dealer mod, so we gotta try this one one more time. Yeah, but first, he didn't answer the question of if he's coming or not. So, Taz. Are you coming and joining the crew? We need a shady arms dealer. And you are the shadiest. Now tell me your final... It will actually be very specific. Final Fantasy 14 job role. You will be paid in unlimited. I do not use that word lightly. Unlimited. Unlimited rum. My job. Yes, like I'm the captain. Luke is the cabin boy. I'd say I'm a merchant, though I'm also a jack of all trades. How have you switched? How has you and Trollax just switched? Well, I was thinking about having a jack of all trades, maybe an arms dealer, someone who knows about weapons, armor and the like. I do believe you are right. I can be a jack of all trades. I know much about weapons, armor and other goods. That's perfect. Come join the crew. You will have unlimited rum. All right, let's do it. I'll give you an invite once I've found the marketplace. Sound good. Let me know when you're there. All right, we'll set sail now. The crew, including the newly recruited Taz, make their way towards Old Da. Finally! We only had to offer our arms dealer friend an unlimited supply of rum. Three fucking times. Taz says we're almost there. Yeah, I can see the lights. Good, because we have a lot of shopping to do. Oh, we have a lot to buy. Like new pants, a sweet shirt, and an upgrade to the ship. Oh yes, we do have to buy a lot. But before we go shopping, we have a friend to look for, and his name is Trollax. Do you have any information on him? Yes, I think he's here. All right, good. Let's go. The crew docks the Old Daw Harbor. And the journey begins. Rathian says, I think this is the main market. Let's split up and find it. The crew split up and began their search for Trollax. Rathian, the man with the auburn hair and the eye patch, was the first to find him. Found you. Hello. Hi. My name is Rathian. We're friends of a mutual friend. Fucking. We're, we know him. We know him. At this point, I think we can all agree that the AI is just taking the piss. I am looking for a strong, sturdy crew and pants that we can get out to eventually join the Adventurers Guild and save Eorzea. What do you say, good buddy? Wanna be a pirate? Join the pirates. You're our ticket to becoming adventurers. Rathian, that's me. Nice to see you again. It's been too long. What you doing? Not much, just working, says Trollax. Long hours, Rathian says. What are you working on? Just some merchant, or just some merchandise, replies Trollax. Cool, can I get you a drink? No, I'm good, says Trollax. All right, well, if you change your mind, we're at the tavern. Yeah, okay. We'll catch up later, we still need those pants. Right, I'll bring you a pair. Thanks, okay. We have gotten pants at least. See you later. Rathian returns to the tavern and awaits Trollax. The rest of the crew returns. Trollax arrives with some pants. Wait, thanks, put them on. Trollax says okay. There, how's that? Looking good, Trollax. Why have I given him my pants? I'm still fucking pantsless. Yeah, the AI knows that we know that it's taking the piss. 
and it's just rubbing it in at this point. It should never be this difficult to acquire pants. We're going to be setting out in a quest to become adventurers. A quest? Yes, we're going to save Eorzea. I know, but it's for the greater good. So what can I get for you? How about a sword? Sure thing. All right, what kind of sword? An axe. We've doubled round back to wielding an axe. Do you have any that are magic? I do, but they're quite expensive. It's okay, we're good for the money. We are good for the money. We sold a lot of daggers. All right, I have a few magic axes. Right, the first one is the Axe of the Crescent Moon. Hold on. Hold on. The AI, though taking the piss, has somehow of its own accord begun tying up loose ends present in our story. And I am willing to let AI Jesus take the wheel on this one. But we do have questions. Hold on, that bastard Aetherius sold you my weapon. He offered me a good price, says Trollax. That's not the point. I need that weapon. Am I going to get back my Axe of the Crescent Moon? All right, I think I'll have another. What does it do? Well, it's a, it's, it's a two-handed sword. It's not a sword. Yeah, it's pretty tough, but not as strong as yours. Let me see. It's still not enough. What else do you need? I feel like this is derailed now. Can you upgrade our ship? I could do it, but it'll cost you. How much? 50,000 gil. This is too bad for an upgrade to a ship. I know it's a lot, but it's worth it. I guess it is. All right, I'll start work on your ship. Right. No axe. And even course correcting for a shirt and pants has yielded no results. But he has offered to upgrade our ship. So let's just roll with that before I have an aneurysm. We are going to join the Adventurers Guild. So we can eventually finish all of Endwalker and start Dawn Trail on time. So eventually we can get the One Piece just because you've said it. Right, now we have everything we need. I'll let you know when the ship is ready. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hi. I've been waiting for you. What is happening? The man with the auburn hair, the eye patch, and the amazing ginger beard has upgraded his ship and has found a new crew with his son, Luca. <laughs> his friend, Trolax. Now he has a new ship and has recruited a new crew. They are ready to start their quest to join the Adventurers Guild and save Eorzea. Where the hell's Tazgu? He was hard enough to recruit without omitting him from our crew list. The AI is just trolling us at this point. Also part of the crew, but nobody has seen him in hours. Let's get going. Aye, aye, Captain, right. We need a new name for this ship. Let's call it the end. Okay, now we have a name for the ship. It's a more fitting name for the ship than you'd think. So who wants to come with me to the Adventurers Guild? I'll go, me too. Okay, good, we'll take the ship. I hope we'll take the ship. We've literally just paid for it. You can all come on the ship. We'll drop you off. The crew sets sail for Limsa. Rathian hopes he can become part of the Adventurers Guild and someday join the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. The AI has no intention of finishing the story. So just like Final Fantasy XIV has taught us, I am taking destiny into my own hands. Or this will never fucking end. We're here. Hi, <laughs> right. Time to drop you guys off. All right, I'll meet you with the guild. Right. That was suspiciously quick. We've made it back to Limsa, and for some reason, it was not arduous. It was not perilous. We already knew the way there anyway. Everyone meets at the Adventurers Guild. They approach the desk and ask if they can join. With a wink from Rathian, a gleeful smile from Trollax, the hushed cries of Luke outside, and the dead stare of the arms dealer Tazgu. The receptionist goes to speak. We have made it to the Adventurers Guild, and it's now time to sign up, which is where I wanted the story to end, as that's basically where the Final Fantasy XIV MSQ begins, but chat had other ideas. You see, I have one other mod, Poyo, who has not made an appearance in the story so far, which is a crime, as she has been part of every dungeon, trial, and raid along my MSQ journey. So, she clearly needed a spot in the crew, or at least in the story, so I had to rectify that. Add Poyo as the fastest gunslinger of the small wild west. She is one of the little people. I am Poyo, she says. I'll be handling your adventure guild application today. Please fill these forms out and we can discuss your journey tomorrow. 
What's the point of filling these out? We just need to get to the guild. Oh well, you still need to fill them out and then we can discuss your journey. Alright, I'm sure you know the basic points. Good, the forms will cover that. Now I will take those forms back to my superior and we will decide whether or not you will be accepted into the Adventurer's Guild. I feel like I'm going to need to intervene. Now I'll be back in a moment. I can't really make any sense of this. I don't even know what this says. Well, it says we should kill something. Alright, let me try something. This says we should kill a creature. Alright, I think I got it. We have to kill a creature. Well, that doesn't sound too hard. Okay, so now we're going for the opening of the Adventurer's Guild. I think that should do it. Excellent. I will return shortly with my superior. Here are the forms. Well, I suppose we wait. Right. I hope he likes me. <laughs> are we talking about Poyo all of a sudden? I hope I can join the guild. The AI has taken over my story for too long. And now it's my turn to take it on a journey. I am not quite sure what I was trying to achieve. Maybe I was just trying to hire the receptionist. But realistically, I just wanted a bit more chaos. And everything was going too smoothly. You know what? I have an idea. This is how it happens. After a delay, Poyo returns with the application forms. Covered in blood. Which, for a Lalafell, is quite frightening. Poyo begs Rathian to let her join the crew. She has made a grave error of judgment. And the crew will need to find another means to join the guild. Poyo has killed the application advisor. Together with Poyo, as a new member of the crew, the crew as a whole must figure out how to join the guild. This is just so we can get to where we actually start. There, that should give us a bit of chaos. I'm not sure if she's good enough to be in the guild, but she wants to join and the guild seems to want to be rid of her. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. The crew sets sail and the adventure begins. We should go back to the guilds. <laughs> Maybe they'll accept Poyo. We should head back. Right, why have you gone awry? Oh, right, we're back. I'll go in and get them to take Poyo. I'll be back soon. I think we're turning Poyo in. Rathian returns with the forms. Poyo joins the crew. I brought the forms. So do you think they'll accept us? What is happening? I don't think so. Well, we're pirates and we've got a killer in our crew. We should probably leave. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I'll man the wheel. The AI is having none of it. It has decided to just loop a bit and say, fuck it. So more intervention it is. The crew no longer accepted at Limza Lominza due to Poyo killing a man in cold blood means the crew must look elsewhere in Eorzea to join an adventurer's guild. All right, where should we go? Somewhere secluded. All right, any ideas? Yes, all right, let's head there. The crew makes its way to an island in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so we fucked off to nowhere. Where are we going? Well, there's no guilds here and there are no people. Right, let's find some treasure. The AI is clearly annoyed at me for intervening and has decided to go on strike. So, of course, more intervention is necessary. Rathian stops everything and screams. We need to join a fucking guild. Now, let's just pay Taz and have him get us into a guild so we can actually start playing Final Fantasy XIV. Right, we'll just have our arms dealer brute force us into an adventurer's guild then. It's my story now. God damn it. Right, I'm getting Taz. All right, Taz, what is it? We need you to get us into the guild. Sure, replies Taz. I can get us into the guild, says Taz. I have a way. But it's pretty dangerous. Yeah, whatever, just get us in, replies Rathian. So what is it? I'll tell you once we're there, says Taz. The crew sets sails and makes its way to the guild. Crew heads inside and approaches the guild. Hey, what are you doing here? I need to talk to your superior, says Rathian. Who are you, says the man behind the desk. My name is Rathian, and I'm here to join the guild. The receptionist replies, I'm afraid you can't do that, because Poyo here killed a man. Yeah? So what, replies Rathian. So we can't allow members with a record of killing to join the guild, says the receptionist. I'm afraid I can't allow you in. Right, Taz did sweet fuck all, so let's just try our friend bribery. 
I'll give you an unlimited amount of rum if you let my crew join the guild. I want to join the Scions of the Seven Dawn. Please let me join. If you don't take the rum, I will give Poyo money to buy a giant weapon from Taz, and she will use that weapon to kill you. I'll take the rum. Me too! Right, thank you, says Rathian. The receptionist peers up from behind the desk and says, I will accept you into the guild. Really? shouts Rathian. Yes, solemnly says the receptionist. Good, I will inform the guildmaster. The crew, now accepted into the Adventurers Guild, have begun their journey to join the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I brought the forms! Right, let's fill them out. Okay, alright. We joined the guild, that's where it begins. Make me do something, don't threaten them. So, Tazgu, the actual mod, has stepped in and asked me to make his character useful. Let's do just that. Does that work for you? That was my one time shine, and you let the AI fucking butcher it. I didn't let it butcher it, it just butchered it. Right, here you go. Right, let's go. All right, we're here. Right, let's go. The crew can now, part of the guild, make their way to Ulda and start their journey to join the Scion. Of the Seven Dawn. So my story's done. I have made it to the Adventurer's Guild, and it's time to begin our MSQ story. However, before that, I need to get rid of the crew. This is my story after all, and I can't be attached to a ship and crew that hasn't appeared in the MSQ. Rathian continued his journey, meeting, or meeting Ashtola, Bancred, and the other members he vaguely remembers, and fights the Garlean Empire. The crew left captainless, had thoughts of eating Luca to survive. Poyo was the first, was the first crew member to suggest it. She was ready to cannibalize her way to being captain of the crew. Taz just got drunk. Trolak slept in. Rathian, the man with the auburn hair and the eye patch, he had trained as a master samurai and a ninja, and had his son, Luca, who had been trained as a master samurai, set sail with his crew. They had a new ship, they had a new quest, they had a new mission. They were ready, they were excited, they were ready to go after a ship full of treasure. No, I am leaving the crew. It seems the AI wasn't ready to say goodbye just yet, but I was. Okay, Luca has joined us regardless, so I may as well put him into the game somehow. There! <laughs> Perfect. Bid his crew farewell as he did Final Fantasy XIV's MSQ and watched Taz set sail with his crew. They headed north to a mysterious island. Rathian, the man with the auburn hair and the eye patch, and his son Luca, who had been trained as a master samurai and a ninja, had come with Rathian on his journey to join the Silence of the Seven Dawn. They'd made it to the mysterious land, they'd discovered an ancient relic, and it started their adventure. It's a strange place. Yeah, I'm sure there's a treasure somewhere. Okay, it's canon. We've joined the MSQ, and for some reason I brought Luca with me. This does raise questions of how this chocobo is somehow my son, but let's gloss over that for the sake of entertainment, shall we? So as it stands... Okay, there we are. That is the entire backstory. I don't get it. And no one ever will. A story of humble beginnings, from small town kid to pirate captain not so legendary to warrior of light. Our story is now canon. A story worthy of being straight to DVD. I still want to know about the eye patch. The AI didn't even try. It was more concerned with being the main character. And it succeeded without any real effort. So, out of spite, do what the AI couldn't. Finish the story by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And comment below your thoughts, wants, needs, and if you happen to have a backstory for your own character, self or AI generated, why not share it below? I am willing to offer the person with the best story an unlimited supply of rum. And if you enjoy the idea of Twitch chat being exploited for these kinds of things, why not volunteer for tribute and follow me over on Twitch? Links in the description. Thanks for watching guys. This might be the finale, but it is still the start of a greater journey. Take care. Have a good one.